got them already. Okay, that's a fuck up. Let's sort this out. New crate. Hello Pokedids and Pokedidettes, I am Pokedids Red and welcome to another Loot Crate unboxing! So the past couple of, past week, you saw the MCM stuff, so two weeks I have been inactive basically, apart from the fact that I've been filming with Pokedids Black and... Yay. Um, but anyway, I've been painting a cover plate, so I wanted to, you know, update you guys every week about this. Um, hopefully, by then the next week it'll be finished, but at the moment it's just this nice white glare. Uh, I'll just take it out. Ta-da! White. Um, it's a, it was originally a red one, but it's been repainted white, so we can put over a nice new design. I'll show you the design at the very end, not of this video, but once it's done. So, we, we are joined today by Pet and Dark Pet Amiibos for the reference of the fact that this Loot Crate is themed of fighting. So let's have a quick gesture of what Loot Crate is. It's a monthly subscription, only costing about £25, maybe a bit more. I don't know. I don't pay attention to the price. I brought Loot Crate to give you entertainment and to show you what you could get in these amazingly subscripted boxes. I am not getting paid for this. Get on with it, Loot Crate, please. I'm joking. I'll, I'll, I'm happy with what I've got so far. So, let's uh, open up this amazing bad boy with our sword from Sword Art Online that I forgot the name of all the fucking time. Uh, I'm terrible with this. And uh, we'll just get into it, shall we? And of course, it begins. It's actually helping this time. Wow. Um, it's not actually cutting through. It's just making it easier to peel off the tape. Ah, the new foil is gonna cut through it. Throw in the box again. Uh, it's stuck to me. Oh, there we go. So um, now we got blue crit open. We can open up to find. Oh. Oh. Look at that design. That looks nice. Um, okay. First of all, the thing, first thing that grabs my attention is this. Okay. So we've had something like this before. These are shredder shades. But we had something like this before. So um, back when, back a couple of new crates ago, over a year ago, I think, we had a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle themed sunglasses. Um, sunglasses shades based on Raphael that I wore for like the entirety of the video. So this one, this time we got Shredder, the main villain of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon series. And again, they look amazing. And in fact, yes, tomorrow they're having Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in Raynham for the. Um, Christmas lights, so that's something to look forward to. I don't think I'll be going though. Because, um. <laughs> this looks so terrible. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> this is amazing! <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <sighs> Too good. Too good. Uh, so, I, I'm not gonna be wearing those for the rest of the episode, so they can go to the side. But, um, let's move on to our next thing. Oh, amazing. Alright, so, um, Fallout came out last week, I think. Um, I have not played Fallout, but we apparently we got a Vault Boy Bubblehead. So, uh, let's open ourselves up a Vault Boy, if I can find the opening. Okay, where's the sword at? Ah, there's the sword at, that can help. I need to sharpen this. I mean, it might be this, not what I need to do. There we go, we're in. Um, created by Vault Tech Assist. Um, this will uh, permanently, permanently increase your skills and stats, apparently, according to the side there. Especially a Loot Crate exclusive. Um, let's open up this Vault Boy bobblehead then. And uh, see 
how, oh my god, they uh, boiled his head with one of these. Oh, that looks amazing. So, um, let's get this bastard out. Here we are, nice uh, bolt boy head. Wow, the exposure on this camera is terrible. Um, still got that camera actually. So there's Bolt Boy. Let's get a nice close view at all his uh, tech, uh, Bolt Tech glory. So we have Bolt Boy. He can stand with a uh, penny dark pit. And uh, wow, well, I have not played Fallout yet. So I'm sorry, but I, I like the look of Fallout minus the glitches. But let's uh, go on to our next thing. We have Cute but Deadly. Sounds like Ginger Nazi. A Series 1 Blizzard Entertainment um, figure. So we can get Kerrigan, Artfaz, Savanaz, Zeratol, Murloc, Diablo, and special Murlocs. And another special Arphias. Art has. Art has? I don't know what they call Okay. Um, let's uh, open up this cute but deadly series. Are they based on them? Anything particular? Oh. Um, Diablo, Starcraft, World of Warcraft. So this is all the MOBA stuff. Ah, this is where I fail, because I don't play MOBAs. Sorry, all you MLG. So, um, oh, we have no idea what we got in this, um, okay, let's, uh, pop the box there and, uh, open this up. Nah! Why am I always bad at opening stuff? There we are. This sword does come in handy. Oh, okay, we got... A very demonic character. In fact, we got Diablo. Rock on. He looks like a heavy metaler. And it looks awesome. Just look at the detail on this. I think I might start playing Diablo. It's just a bit like a crystal in his head. Uh, it's open. Oh, okay. I don't think they stand. They don't stand. They can't stand it. Oh, they get a little stand. Oh, they do. They come with a little stand. So they do come with a little stand. Let's uh, try and put that on him instead then, shall we? Right. There we are. There we go. Look at him. We have Volt Boy and Pitu. Alright, next up we have a gift from Geek. Gift of Geek from Loot Crate. And uh, it says, Happy Holiday Looters at Loot Crate. We try to make our crate special, a special gift you'll enjoy. These tags to celebrate the spirit of the holiday, share the love, your geek friends and family, re-gift your loot to someone who would love them as much as you. I'm keeping all this loot. Um, but we get some tags that we can put on some like geeky stuff. So um, there's the tags and it just says like to slash from and then the message. It's amazing. So, uh, that's fun. That will be put on the message stuff. Okay, next up we have a, a badge. Badge from the Mocking Jay Hunger Games Part Two. So it's literally the Mocking Jay. I don't watch the Hunger Games. I'm gonna put that over there. And on to the next thing, more cute and deadly. In, in fact, it's frig fridge magnets. Fridge magnet. Of course, have your spacecraft, your Diablo, and your World of Warcraft logos, as well as your characters that you can get in them. And, uh, yeah, blah 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 blah. And next up, we have 
Ha 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 ha. Oh no t-shirt. So we get the normal book that tells you everything that you get into it, but we're not done yet. Um, so we'll pop that to the side. And now we've got the badge, which is the Lucrete bus. That would look like it would survive Fallout. It looks so awesome. That badge on the um, I love the badges every month. And now I'm having trouble picking up a Luke Plate. Uh, blah, 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 Luke Plate. Luke Plate. Luke Plate exclusive Street Fights. Free Street Fighter comic. Featuring our American M. Bison, or whatever his name is in Japan. M. Um, Vega? Vega? And. I've not seen this character before, but I think it's a new one, maybe. I don't know. I'll find out. And. It's a Street Fighter comic, so that's something I'll be uh, having a look, back, look at later. <laughs> so, that's awesome. And of course, without this, we have the Loot Crate box itself. So let's see, it's got instructions on it. So it wants us to undo it. Do it! So we'll do that. So it's like that. Um, Apparently you're going to need some tape. I think they go on the outside of the loot crate. Oh no, wait, they go down. Um. Flips over and goes down. Um, this one makes no sense to me, so I'm gonna leave it. And um, there you go. Have a look at the nice box. There you are. Nice box for you. Uh, that's pretty much all we have in the crate. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to go subscribe. To the Team Pookie Dudes channel as well as my channel on the Team Pookie Dudes channel, we are doing a Christmas themed, well, a Smash Bros. subspace walkthrough for Christmas. So stay tuned for that. As well on my channel, um, we are doing a Smash Bros. Brawl themed Christmas this year because it's the least second least pop. It's one of the most. It's one of the most infamous Smash Bros. in the competitive scene. But of course, we all, we've all been there for the tripping, so stay tuned in December for that. And um, I will be doing challenges on Brawl here on this channel for the entirety of Christmas, so uh, stay tuned for that also. I have been Pokedex Red, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!